Hi, I'm Larry Whitmer and welcome to another Random Act of Anatomy. It's Skeletonization Saturday and I've got a whole bunch of skeletons here that I need to box up so that they can be um, um, accessioned and numbered and put in the collection. So these specimens have been prepared uh, uh, by our dermestid beetles and our uh, jars of the bacterial maceration as well as our, our, our team of undergraduate students. Uh, specimens like this are laid out because uh, they need to dry after they've come out of the cleansing bath of hydrogen peroxide and ammonia. And this pelican right here is just an absolutely beautiful specimen. Well, let me show you some of the other specimens that we've got here as well. So here is a really nice uh, barn swallow, which are uh, very uncommon birds for us to get in. Here is a cedar waxwing, which is a beautiful little songbird. Here's a really nice purple gallinule specimen that came out really nicely. This isn't something you see every day. This is a cassowary embryo that was prepared very nicely. This specimen is just spectacular. This is a nestling um, eastern screech owl. And you can just see all of the, the, the dermestids just did a fantastic job on this one. <laughs> and they did a great job even on this adorable little hummingbird that you can see right in here. Here's a grown-up eastern screech owl. And here we've got a whole row of hawk skulls that came out really nicely. And at the end here, we've got a really nice uh, black vulture skull that came out beautifully. We get lots of songbirds in. So here's a, here's a junco right in here. A very nice Swainson's thrush, which are very pretty birds. Here is a, a gorgeous northern cardinal um, specimen and yet another cardinal. We get a lot of juncos and cardinals. Um, here's a junco that the domestics didn't take all apart, which is pretty unusual, so that's kind of nice. Here's a tufted titmouse and yet another junco. A lot of these uh, passerines, these songbirds, are very common. Almost all of these are window strikes and window strikes is a common um, cause of mortality uh, for backyard birds. Um, here is an eastern screech owl, which really come in very, very commonly to uh, rehab facilities. And as a result, um, they show up um, in our collections quite a bit as well. Here's a really nice and unusual specimen of barred owl, um, which was again very young and basically came completely apart uh, by the action of the dermestids. What's really helpful for us is its skull, which is almost completely disarticulated. And this is uncommon and winds up being very useful for us. Still useful, though common, are another cardinal and another junco. All of these specimens actually contribute another cardinal and another junco to actually having substantial sample sizes for some of these local birds. Um, we do have some pretty spectacular specimens hanging out here today, like this two-month-old female ostrich. So a relatively small ostrich. I could do multiple random acts of anatomy with this specimen alone. This was pre prepared to perfection by a former uh, undergrad, Joshua Kretsch, and the dermestis did just a spectacular job. Um, and you can see the beautiful skull right there. But that's really just scratching the surface because this summer we just got a backlog of specimens um, that were prepared out. And so all of these specimens, lots of really interesting specimens, um, now need to be um, accessioned and numbered and put away in cabinets. So I've got some work to do today and our team will in the coming days. So that's it for this random act of anatomy. Thanks very much.